you haven't already guessed, that's me that just got slung onto the floor. And this is what I like to call the skinny me. Back in the days when I played rugby, I was a small nippy lad that often had to be slung to the ground like that. If you played rugby or know anyone that has that annoying little scrum half, yeah, that, that was me. But that story is for another time. What I want to focus on here is my transformation from the skinny kid to this. Yep, that's the same person I call this first year fat, but I'll get to that in a minute. We've gone from that to now this, four years later. So let's take it back to the start, rugby. Back here it was weird to me because I could always take a hit and get back up, but more importantly make a hit too, but I definitely wasn't big. I dabbled with the gym here and there, I had a sick setup in my room, but I never bloody used it. Played every sport under the sun, I was a very fit, active, healthy young lad, but I never actually had the size that interests me more so now. More the explosive power to just do my bit on the pitch, make the fast runs or the hits when necessary, you know? This phase I call the skinny phase. My first ever body power, 2015, skinny. Old holiday videos, skinny. Old holiday photos, skinny. Then boom! University hit. Nights out, dominoes for breakfast, lunch and dinner and let's face it, absolutely no exercise whatsoever led me to gaining what I estimate to be about 50 pounds. That in about six or seven months, let's say seven just to be safe, over seven pounds a month and nearly two pounds a week. Every week. I was having the time of my life, no responsibilities, amazing fun with friends, memories I'll never forget, but jeez did my body take a kick in. We knew this time wouldn't last forever, so we went hard. Some would say too hard. They might be right, but I would not be the person I am today without these experiences, and I don't regret it one bit. Well, okay, maybe a little bit, but come on, I had fun. So at the end of this year, 205 pounds was the heaviest I saw on my scales, but I am certain that I was more than that. I dialed it in for a while when I saw that. If you think about it, it's even worse because I now weigh 35 to 40 pounds less than that at 170 pounds, and I had another, what, 10, 15 plus pounds of muscle at least now. That's potentially a 50 to 60 pounds more pure fat on me right there. Just for reference, I'm five foot six, 170 centimeters tall, so it's no surprise that this phase earned the title of first year fat. First year at university, I got fat. First year fat, you got it? Yeah, okay, good, you get the point, let's move on. This is where I call the start of my bodybuilding. I'm not a pro, I have no aspiration to be, to be honest, but I enjoy the process, and this is where it started for me. The summer where I realized I needed to lose all this weight is where I kind of really got into it. I came home to a sick home gym of my dreams and we got cracking, it was as simple as that. This summer was 2016, around the end of May, June time if I had to guess, so around about now really. I'm not about the, I've only been training for X amount of time when people say it's 10 years and it's actually been 15, vice versa, when people say it's five and it's actually been 10, it's bullshit and I ain't about that life. I've been training for four years now. Productively for that entire time, well no, of course I was living the first year fat lifestyle for three of them. I still train, but not to the same mindset. I enjoyed it back then, but there were so many distractions. Balancing actual work that I had to do there, you know, being there for an education and all. Balancing that with the social life and the gym was actually really difficult, and let's be honest, far from optimal. <laughs> We went and just wanted to press and squat heavy like any other bro. Each year I followed the same process. Just didn't get quite as first year fat as the year before, but it was just a vicious cycle really. But don't worry, it's all part of the plan guys, we got this. It's in the past year that I've seen the best progress I think, by far. I've gone from stressing every little detail and not making any progress to relaxing and making the best progress ever. Losing fat, gaining muscle, strength, hitting PBs, trust me, it's a lot easier when you just relax and enjoy it. Lift a little bit more than last time, pedal on the bike a little bit faster than last time, it's what I've always preached. But only recently have I actually started to follow my own advice and just fucking relax.
feel the experience, knowledge and opportunities I have available to me right now are better than ever. So I'm in a great position to progress what you've already seen and I look forward to doing so. Don't get me wrong, I'm no expert, but my transformation is a lot different to most. It's fairly unique, I'd say, and it allows me to see things from everybody's perspective because I've been there. I've been skinny, I've been small, I've been overweight too, I've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, so know that whatever I have done or will do, you can do too, regardless of what position you're currently in. So now, summer 2020, I'm entering Christian Guzman's online summer shooting competition. Obviously because of, well, 2020 and everything going on, it's now been delayed. This competition is not a full-on bodybuilding competition, it's more of an online transformation kind of thing. One thing I always have to really focus on is actually spreading my back at the back, so if I'm turned around like this, sometimes I squeeze too much here and then forget to kind of extend out. It's just, sometimes I forget. People wonder why I'm not competing just yet. I haven't got things like that down pat yet. Bear with me, I will compete one day. Just not yet. We've got the online summer shredding competition first. That kind of counts. Not really, but kind of counts. I've known from the start and I do actually feel very lucky to have seen it this way from the start. I've always known that it will take a few years at least to get into good shape. I knew where I was and I knew how bad it was and unless I jumped on the good stuff this was going to take years. So I've had a plan to give myself five years at least. The plan being one year getting leaner then bulking but not quite as heavy then dieting down to a new low and then bulking but not quite as heavy then dieting down to a new low. This will follow each year until the point where my peak bulk for the year is where I was over the moon with at the end of the diet a couple years back. We're midway through that now, currently around 170 pounds. And the goal for this summer is to be in the 150s. 159 is the number I keep throwing around. feel great but we've still got 10 pounds more than 10 pounds to go to get to the weight that we want to get to this summer right I feel like it almost might be a bit of a blessing in disguise summer shredding being delayed because it allows me to take the approach that I like to take to, to dieting right I can take it slower I can take my time half a pound a pound a friggin month and get there not a month maths is all wrong but you, you get the point you get the principle of what I'm saying I can take it a lot more steadily preserve the muscle mass that I have worked my friggin ass off to make I feel like I've made great progress in this bulk I only bulked for like six months but I feel like it went really friggin well I don't want to then diet down super duper fast and lose all of that because I have to diet so fast it's allowing me it's giving me the opportunity I should say to take my time with it a little bit more I feel like I should I feel like I should take that opportunity, you know? But we'll see. We'll see how we go when the dates come by, when the dates come. It's one of those things, right? It's all in here, it's all in my head. And when the dates come around, when those body power dates come around, I will know what is right for me to do. I'll know what's right in my gut, literally. The vacuum should hopefully look a little bit better by that point, <laughs> the gut. I will know once the time comes, but I am changing my mind as, as to what I'm gonna do on a daily basis at this point in time. <laughs> so if you're new here, stick around to see whether we decide to get shredded or not. Body power, like summer shredding, has also been delayed. Now I know what some of you will be thinking, what does body power have to do with this transformation? Well, I use it as my kind of reference. It's usually at the same time every year and I can look back at my photos and videos and see not only the physical differences, but the mental ones as well. I'm much more confident and happy as well as not being 205 pounds. This year it's had to wait, so be it, it is what it is. No excuses but to look the best I've ever looked if you ask me. So now we are working towards mid-October which is summer shredding and the end of October which is body power. And I look forward to pushing my body to new limits and showcasing it all on here as we always have. The good and the bad. This next few months is gonna be exciting. We'll be trying things we've never done before, reaching limits we've never even tried to before. We've got 159 in sight and I'm coming for it. Thank you all for watching. This has been my four years of bodybuilding story. On to the next one. Together we will grow.